All right, now I'm switching from Samsung Messages to Google Messaging application, and here are some fantastic features offered on Google Messages. We can use Google Messages not only on the phone, we've got cross-device support as well. If you want to use the Google Messaging app on the web, you can just open up the browser on your PC or your Mac. Just log into the Google account that you're using on the phone. You will get a dialog in Google Messaging app with three emojis. Tap the emoji that matches the one shown on your computer screen. Your phone just vibrates when pairing completes and you can find your messages on your computer screen. And you'll be able to send and receive messages right on your computer or on your Mac. And not just that, if you have got a tablet device, you will be able to log into the same Google Messages account on your tablet and use it even if you don't have a SIM card on your tablet. Again, it is the same process. On the tablet, download the Samsung Messaging application, log into your account, and you'll be able to see all your messages right there on the tablet as well. So the cross-device support is just amazing on a Google Messaging application. The next is, of course, the RCS which stands for Rich Communication Services. And we can use RCS on Google Messages seamlessly, which enables us to send images, videos, or any files over the internet, rather than sending these files on the web. And all those chat conversations you're gonna have will not need the cellular network. All that will happen through the internet. That is just the meaning of RCS. Now, RCS offers some amazing features. When the other person is typing on their phone, you will get this indication that the other person is typing and you can wait until he finishes it. You will get to know whether he's there on the chat or not. And we do get red receipts on Google Messages. We can send high quality images, videos, and files without compressing them. And we do have improved group chat management with features like custom names and icons. And the best part is, RCS does support cross-platform compatibility now, which means RCS is supported between Android and iOS devices. This development of course happened recently. All the latest iPhones does support RCS. May not be in all regions, some regions do support this. And on RCS, Google says the chats are protected. There is end-to-end -end encryption for all the data that we share on Google Messages. And it also offers verified sender profiles, which enables us to identify and prevent spoofing attempts. That is just fantastic isn't it? Now let's move on to the next important feature, that's the Magic Compose. This is a creative writing aid which is powered by Gemini Nano AI model from Google. Instead of you typing the reply to it, you can just tap on this Magic Compose icon here, you will get this list of suggestions here. Just tap on it and send it. Let's say I get a message which says, can we meet at 5 today? I can just tap on this Magic Compose and just tap on one of these replies here. And not just that, you'll also get the short reply suggestions right above this text box which is fantastic. So this makes it easy easy to chat and reply to somebody quickly on Google Messaging application. Next, we have got Gemini AI Assistant right there built inside the Google Messaging application. You see this Gemini icon right there at the bottom? You can just tap on that and start chatting with this assistant. If you have got any questions to ask, if you want to search some information on the web, or let's say you want to be creative and create an image by sending commands to Gemini, all that you can do right here within Google Messaging application. While chatting, you don't have to exit the app and then ask Google Assistant or Gemini and then come back again here to reply to the message. You can do all that AI related tasks within Google application using Gemini, which is just incredible. Next one is Photo Emoji. You can see we got this emoji icon within the text box. Just tap on that. You get to see emoji GIF stickers option and we have got this create button right here. Just tap on that. You'll be able to select an image to clip the subject and send it to somebody or you can take your own image and you can remove the background and send it right here. This is called Photo Emoji on Google Messaging application, which is pretty cool. Then we have got something called Selfie GIF. When you tap on this plus button, there is an option called Selfie GIF. Just tap on that. It will give you three seconds to take your selfie and it will create your GIF. You can just tap on send. Now on Samsung Galaxy phones, iPhones or any other Android phones, we do have something called Magic Rewrite or let's say Smart Compose, which enables us to just write something, select it and use the AI to rewrite the entire message. And something similar to that is also available on the Google Messaging application. Just type whatever you want to type, tap on the plus button. We've got options like Remix, Shakespeare, Chill, Lyrical, Excited, Formal. All these cool options are available on Google Messages, which is going to be very useful if you want to change your writing styles. And if you want to record your voice and send it, we've got this record icon right here within the text box. Just tap on that, record your voice and send it. Something similar to what we have on WhatsApp and a few other applications. Now, searching is very, very easy on Google Messaging application. You may want to search for some documents, videos, files, or 
or chats all you need to do is just tap on search you will get to search 100 messages known unknown starred images videos places and links just tap on an icon you will get to see all those files nicely organized so it's very easy to search anything within the google messaging application if you want to schedule a particular message if you want to send a message uh, on a particular date or a particular time to someone google messages has got it covered as well all you need to do is just select the contact tap on this plus button we have got schedule send tap on that we have options like later today later tonight tomorrow or you can select a date and time the message will be automatically sent on the scheduled date and time which is amazing next when you go to the notification settings within google application you've got an option called remind one hour action if you enable this a reminder option will be shown on a new message and if you tap on that the message reminder will show up after one hour of receiving the message and we also have got something called behavior sound and more if you have set the notification contents to be shown on your device you can enable or disable the message content on the lock screen even if you have enabled the message contents for the other applications the next cool feature is auto delete messages after 24 hour if you go to the settings you will see this option called message organization when you tap on that you will see this toggle auto delete otps after 24 hours this is the easiest and best way to get rid of all those otps that you get within the application you don't really have to manually go and delete each of them you can make sure that all your important messages are showing up on your inbox by automatically deleting all those otps Next, we can customize the swipe actions for the messages within the application. Go to the settings, tap on swipe actions. You can customize swipe right or swipe left option. You can select archive, delete, mark as read or unread, or you can completely turn it off as well. Now, these are some amazing features that we've got on the Google messaging application. And my favorite features are the cross device support. I will be able to log in on the website on any of the browsers to check out all my messages, send and receive messages there. And I can also use it on the tablet, which is amazing. And then I have got Gemini built in within the application. Whenever I want to use Gemini, I don't really have to exit the messaging app and then go to Gemini app and come back here. I can directly interact with the AI within the application. Magic Compose and Quick Replies is another fantastic feature, which I'm going to use a lot. And of course, the RCS support, which is an amazing feature on Google Messages. Now, I'm pretty sure many of you guys will go to the comment section and say that you don't even use the messaging application may it be samsung messages google messages or any other messaging apps you won't use you are using whatsapp and you don't even need these messaging applications i completely understand but this is not the case in all the countries there are some countries which are primarily using whatsapp as the uh, messaging app and there are many other countries where the samsung or google messaging app is the primary messaging app so it completely depends on you if you ask me of course i use whatsapp a lot but looking at the kind of developments happening on whatsapp it has become more of a social media application like facebook or twitter or instagram so uh, there are a lot of features which are being added on whatsapp and it is no more just a mere messaging application it may turn into another facebook in the coming days so if you want a pure messaging application with rcs support then google messaging application could be the way to go forward and google is also adding some amazing new features and i just hope that google is is not going to turn this Google messaging application into an advertising platform. And another point to note here is many of you guys may be thinking that it's Google, they're going to take your data, they're going to use your data, sell your data to uh, companies and all that. I totally agree with you guys, Google may do that. But if you think WhatsApp or any other messaging application is not doing that, you would be wrong. An important point here to note is the data which is collected by these companies will not be used to steal your bank account or do something wrong with your personal details. All that is primarily used for providing you with customized advertisements so that you don't see unwanted advertisements on your uh, devices. So that is the primary goal of collecting these data by these companies. I won't say it is right, but getting a relevant ad on the device is better than getting some irrelevant advertisements. We all just have to live with this. So that is my point here. If you've got any thoughts, uh, you can share it in the comment section. And while you do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And you will also get to learn a lot on the channel. I share tips and tricks videos update related videos and some new feature videos so if you want to stay updated with all that is happening around your phone go ahead subscribe and hit this video a like that will help youtube to take this video to a wider audience so go ahead and tap that like button as well that's all i want to share with you guys thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye